hello. I think we're in for a treat. What's that coming out of the Tamar just up ahead? Oh, that looks like an old barge. Oh, wow. Wow, that is gorgeous. I think I know what that is. I think that's the Tamar barge, the liner. Isn't that beautiful? She is gorgeous. Wow, what a sight. Well, that's made today worthwhile coming out for. Now, there's quite a story to this barge. Um, and if I remember, she was built up at Calstock in the late 1800s, um, 1895, I think, um, by the boat builder James Goss. I think she was fitted with an engine and... Um, a small, smaller engine to power a winch and a crane around, around about uh, the late 1920s. Uh, her, her history is an amazing one. I think during World War II she was a barrage balloon platform in Plymouth Sound. Then I think she was abandoned during the 1950s um, because I think she was buried in the mud or she became buried in the mud up at Puldrasic Quay um, up past Trelugan where I was a few weeks ago. Now as I recall I think it was the mid 1980s that there was a retired businessman Charlie I can't remember his surname and I think he came along and decided to dig the mud out of the barge until she refloated. And it took him several, um, it took him a whole year, I think. And then he fitted her with a dump truck engine and he brought her up river to um, Morwellum Quay where he refitted her out. And I think the restoration took nearly um, 10 years. I think it was around about 2000 that um, he finally restored her. And then she was sold to a lady as a liverboard boat to sail along the coast. Um, I know she spent some time being refitted at Mashford Yards in the early 2000s. And then after that, I'm slightly hazy as to what happened. I think the last I remember reading is that she was being used as a sail training ship as well. Um, and I think there's a partnership with our local um, creative art school in Plymouth. Um, I'll have to look into it a little bit more, but what a glorious sight. Um, well worth coming out today just to see this. <laughs>